At hindi uh, ko na po patatagalin kasi tumatagal na rin. <laughs> De, um, ngayon naman po is naraho tayo sa ating uh, magkaing spiritual. Uh, Inaanyayahan po ang lahat na issues of po ang anilang mga mobile at uh, pati na rin po ang anilang mga bibig switch off nyo po nila. Pero i-open nyo po ang inyong pandinig. At uh, ito na nga po, ipapakilala ko na po ang uh, siyempre isang masigasin na pastor ng GICM. Siyempre po ang pastor nyo. At ang batman ng GICM. <laughs> pastor Edwin Gonzalez. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Maganda yung pakilala ni Bro Marky. Kaya lang hindi po talaga ako sa nalilin niya sa Pogi. Eh. Yun lang po dalawang pastor natin na nalilin niya sa Pogi. Doon na lang po ako sa malakas ng sex appeal. <laughs> Sorry, doon na lang ako. Doon na lang ako. Hindi ko na kayo pang mga nandun. Sa inyo na yun eh. Yes, amen. Thanks God. At salamat po muli. Um, we are really blessed. And uh, really grateful some of you that I have not seen for a while that come again. Um, I would really request you to keep on studying, learning, understanding the Word of God. Whoever is the one speaking in front of you, not necessarily it should be me all the time, not necessarily it should be other pastor of the time, but listen first or listen more on what the Bible sharing to us. Are we in agreement? Amen. So, my sing uh, advertisement before coming over here because uh, there's also a lot of uh, visitors that have come today and as well as uh, new guests. Welcome to GICM. And with that, I would like to invite each and everyone by August 11 will be the first year anniversary of GICM Dubai. More than welcome po kayong lahat to attend. And, and join us in the fellowship and join us in the worship service. And with that, the message for today is about warnings. Mga warning, mga wang, wang, wang. Meron pa bang, there's no more warning in the Philippines like wang, wang. It's already forbidden. But it's all about warnings. When we see the warning sign, there's a lot of Types of warning. Merong warning about the pedestrian, about dead end, about going to some other places, about stop, about one way. Yun yung mga pangkaraniwang warnings. Meron din namang about risk, about complications ahead. Ito ang lalong lalo na sa inyo na nandi dito. There's a lot of complications when you are going to in some some, uh, you can say, endeavors na hindi naman dapat. So we need to understand about the risk. And then there is also about what we are taking, what about we are partaking. Diba? This is also warning. Parang nalalabo ang mata nyo tingin dun sa ano, don't drink. May na-imagine kayo iba dyan bukod sa bote na yan? Okay. Harmful chemicals, and at the same time, about ourselves, about overspending, about negativity. So, there's a lot of warnings na it is very evident here. Uh, sino na sa inyo ang uh, na-find kasi nag-jaywalking? Who among you had encounter a fine because there's jaywalking? Talagang nagtaas pa ng kamay, proud kayo ah! <laughs> amen po, amen po, just joking around. There's a lot of warning, but sometimes, or most of the time, we are neglecting the warning. But what warning is really that we need to focus on and concentrate on? It's about eternal damnation. Yung warning na to, about eternal damnation, there's no turning back. Hindi na natin pwedeng bayaran yung fine. So, 
the preaching for today or the word of the Lord for today is about sounding the trumpet. So I would like to request uh, sa likod, naririnig niyo ako dyan? Amen! Naririnig ko rin kayo dito. So if you'd like to, I, I would really request you to come over here and I would re like to request each and every one this will be a very, very short message, but I want to each and everyone really to focus your 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 eyes, your ears on the message because it really pertains to us. And it is coming from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 1 to 9. I would like each and everyone to please open the Bible and come join or read with me about the Bible. So we're giving away Bibles as well in GICM. Brother McCoy, this is his ministry. Doon po sa inyo na hindi makapag-invest ng Bible, more than welcome to this down. But this is the first investment na dapat natin gawin sa ating buhay so that we know where we'll, where we'll be going to. Are we ready to listen? Amen. Amen. So I would like to request each and everyone to please bow down their heads and let us pray. Yes, Lord, we thank you and we glorify you for your wonderful uh, day that you have made for all of us. Salamat po, Panginoon, for waking us up this morning. Thank you, Lord, for bringing in the brothers and sisters and the friends here at GICM. Yes, Lord, please continue to open their hearts. Please continue to wind in their minds. Let their eyes see the words that you have to express. Let the ears hear your voice. We offer you our prayer that each and everyone here that will be hearing your message would understand it clearly, openly, with a clear mind and with a clear heart. That this message that not, does not come in from the person that you're using right now to speak in your behalf but definitely coming from you, O oh God. Anoint the congregation. Anoint the people that will be hearing this message, O oh Lord, that they may be able to proceed as what you have asked them to do. This we ask in your mighty name. Amen. So sounding the trumpet, this verse in Ezekiel 33.19. This is a watchman call. And in verse 1, the word of the Lord came to me. So where is the message coming from? From the Lord. It comes to a certain person. Me. Not necessarily me. It's in, 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 in the book. And then we go to verse 2. Son of man, speak to your countrymen and say to them, when I bring the sword against the land, and the people of the land choose one of their men, and make him their watchman. So the message is coming from the Lord, and the Lord is to a certain watchman to take care of the land. Katagalugin po, ang mensahe ay galing sa Panginoon. Ang mensahe na ito ay para sa isang tagabantay para sa kanyang nasasakupan. Yung kanyang iahayag, yung kanyang ipapaliwanag, yung kanyang mga warning. And then we go on to verse 3. And he sees the sword coming against the land and blows the trumpet to warn the people. Alam niyo po kasi, um, although not, not most of us have been to such countries na merong, there is castles, there is fortification, like in Israel or in Jerusalem, they have the castles. And in those castles, there are towers. Dun sa towers na yun, they have their own watchman. And the purpose of these watchmen is if they have seen danger, if they have seen enemies, if they have seen warnings, they will be sounding the alarm. And in those days, the alarm is a trumpet. And when the, when the watchman sound the trumpet, the people will have their own responsibility, will have their own uh, doings what to do. Either 
kung meron dumadating na enemy or meron dumadating na na mga